Battlefield 5 has been delayed. EA has announced that Battlefield 5 is being delayed. The game was originally set to be released on October 19th, but is now going to launch on November 20th. The reason for the delay can be arguably attributed to three main factors. Firstly, the game has received a mixed response from gamers. The reveal trailer showed a game set in World War II, but also presented some quite odd features, such as a soldier wielding a katana and a woman with a bionic arm fighting with a cricket bat. It just seemed like an unclear way to announce the game, and I'm personally still not sure as to whether this is meant to be a serious and gritty World War II shooter, or a more fantastical take on the setting. EA then made things worse by claiming that those who had a problem with women with bionic arms being in the game were uneducated and were on the wrong side of history. Don't get me wrong, I'm sure there was a vocal minority of idiots saying women shouldn't be in a World War II game, which is dumb because women played a huge role in World War II, but there were also plenty of gamers who had genuine concerns about what the style of the game was going to be, and why the reveal trailer seemed to be unable to decide on being pulpy or realistic. Instead of just explaining it, EA called us all a bunch of idiots and said don't buy the game if you have a problem. So guess what? People aren't buying the game. I wouldn't be surprised if part of the delay is to try and let this bad feeling blow over. Secondly, the game couldn't have chosen a worse release slot of October 19th. Had it released then, it would have been sandwiched between Assassin's Creed Odyssey, Call of Duty Black Ops 4 and Red Dead Redemption 2. It's bad enough it was going to release after another massive shooter like Call of Duty, but there's just no way it's going to compete with a game as hyped as Red Dead 2. People only have so much money to spend on games in a month, and the competition in October is fierce. It was a sound business move to get this game out of that launch window. Thirdly, I believe the delay also allows the developers more time to polish the game and tweak the gameplay in order to make it as enjoyable as possible when it releases. Delays suck, sure, but I think they're always worthwhile if it means the game can be improved. Part of the statement EA put out announcing the delay reads, We're going to take the time to continue to make some final adjustments to core gameplay and to ensure we really deliver on the potential of Tides of War. We know moving the launch date means we're going to have to wait a little longer, but we're going to take our time and make sure we get it right. However, the new launch date of November is still a pretty crowded one when it comes to major releases. November 13th sees the release of Hitman 2 and Spyro Reignited. The very next day, on November 14th, Fallout 76 is released, followed by Battlefield 5 less than a week later on November 20th. It's definitely good that Battlefield is launching further away from Call of Duty, but I think it's still up against stiff competition with Fallout 76, and, given how well the Crash Bandicoot remaster did, possibly the Spyro remake as well. It's worth noting that news of the delay also caused EA's stock to fall by almost 10% at the time of writing. No doubt EA will recover from this, but it just shows how this delay has caused stir among investors. Time will tell whether or not Battlefield 5 will ultimately succeed or fail, but it's certainly not a great start. Personally, I think it's more than just a bad launch window that's hampered the game. I have a hunch, and it is only a hunch, that the final game will fail to impress fans of the series. It'll probably be serviceable and will have its fans, but I don't think it will enjoy the same success as Battlefield 1. I take no pleasure in saying that, by the way. I'd never played a Battlefield game before Battlefield 1, and I have lots of fond memories of playing it with my friends. We were excited when Battlefield 5 was announced, but now none of us really care anymore. I hope Battlefield 5 manages to beat the odds and turns out to be a great game, but I'm certainly not buying it until I see the reviews come in. If you enjoyed this video, then please give it a like, a comment, and share it with your friends. That really helps me out. If you're new here, then feel free to subscribe. I put out at least two videos a week and I cover everything nerdy from video games to films to books. See you next time.